Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, not being here for four hours in Singapore, and it's a great pleasure to provide some remarks for this year's Global FinTech Accelerator. And I have to say it's a dream come true. About a year ago, when I knew that my title will actually be changed from financial inclusion to financial health, the first issue that I actually uh, hope for here in Singapore is to have this competition about how we can actually make uh, products and services that actually would help people to have better financial health. So, um, very happy that we're doing this today and, and really pleased that my office could contribute as a thematic partner to this critical initiative. And as we gather for today's demo presentations, I really want like to acknowledge the hard work of every team and the valuable support of all the sponsors. Your commitment to fintech innovation and exper experimentation is really crucial to enhancing financial health of households, but also of micro entrepreneurs worldwide. The Singapore FinTech Festival, alongside Mass, of course, has been really such an invaluable partner and platform, consistently driving this conversation on inclusive FinTech and bringing together partners who are at the frontier of expanding financial access to billions of people globally. Today, I'm really, really happy that this focus goes beyond mere access to financial services. It really centers on building products that meet people's real needs, equipping them with tools necessary to build resilience and, more importantly, to enhance their financial health. For the past 15 years, as UN Secretary General Special Advocate for Financial Inclusion, I have adopted advocated for policies and business practices that ensure people have access to affordable, effective, and secure financial services. But today, while more than three quarters of adults globally now do have an access to formal financial services, this access alone does not guarantee improved financial well-being. We see this disconnect across different contexts, both in the developed and in the developing world. Consider these findings. In America, nearly one, four in 10 Americans lack sufficient funds to cover a $400 emergency expense. Less than one in five adults in Kenya can meet basic daily needs, handle unexpected costs, and invest in future opportunities. In Brazil, Almost 80% of surveyed adults worry about managing monthly expenses or meeting financial needs in old age. And even in my country, the Netherlands, consistently one third of the population, even though we're 99.7% financially included, one third of our population is considered financially vulnerable. In Asia, similar trends persist with many families struggling with financial challenges from managing unforeseen expenses to dealing with household debt. Climate change and inflation further exacerbate these challenges, make it even harder to manage day-to-day -day finances and plan ahead. Meanwhile, essential financial products that foster resilience, such as insurance and savings, are not widely adopted. This gap underscores the need for solutions that not only addresses immediate financial needs, but also help people secure a stable financial future. Simply opening the doors to financial services is not enough, ladies and gentlemen. We must go further. We need to enhance people's financial health by ensuring they have the tools to manage expenses, handle financial shocks, achieve personal goals, and have confidence in their financial lives. It is really inspiring to see each of you dedicating your talent and energy to this wonderful mission. As we deepen our shared commitment to financial health, I really look forward to engaging with you and learning about your solutions. May your presentations inspire so many others
to change the way we do finance by putting our customers at the center of everything we do and serving to everybody's prosperity. I wish you all best luck at your presentations and I eagerly await the innovations that you will share with us. And please, we all need to learn and learn together. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Your Majesty, for the very inspiring words. We'd like to invite you to please take a seat.